up the room. Situation 1. Joanne asks her children, Alex and Justin, to clean and decorate the house for Christmas. Children, come in here. Yes, Mom? We're coming. Alex, Justin, it's only five days till Christmas. The shop is busy and I will be working all day. I need you two to help me clean up the house and decorate it. Can you guys help me with that? Yes, Mom. Don't worry. We can do it. Can I be in charge, Mom? Of course you can. Alex, listen to your brother, okay? I have to go to work now, so see you guys tonight. Bye. Love you, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, guys. Be nice. We will clean up first, and then we will take the lights and decorations in the basement to hang up. Okay, Justin. I will go grab the broom to dust the bookshelf, and can you take out the trash? Done. Where are all the cleaning products for polishing? They are in the kitchen under the sink. These shelves, chairs, and furnishings need a once-over to remove any stains or buildup of dust. You're right. Do you remember the nice set of cutlery that only makes an appearance on special occasions? I will clean and polish this lovely kitchenware and make the Christmas meal even more memorable. While you're on a cleaning spree, don't forget to give decorations like mirrors and candlesticks a good polish too. Sure, Justin. Okay, we're done cleaning up the living room. Now let's hang up these lights. I will go get the ladder. And I will put up the Santa Claus figure. He brings us our gifts and toys, so he should absolutely be represented in our living room. Thanks, Alex. After this, we will hang up the ornaments together. It's one of the most fun parts of decorating for Christmas. Wait for me, Alex. I will put on a Christmas song as we decorate the tree. You can choose a theme for the tree ornaments. Which one do you prefer? Red or metallics? Um, red. And we should hang some of our old family photos to make it more special. Great idea! Ah, don't forget to hang stockings by the fireplace. Sure, Mom will be surprised when she gets home from work. Situation 2 Sally cleans up her house because she has a guest and Karen to help her. Hi Sally, it's Karen. How are you today? Do you want to go to the movies tonight? Hi Karen, I'm okay, but I'm afraid I can't come with you. I have so many things to do today. What do you have to do? I have to do several loads of laundry. Vacuum the whole house and clean the kitchen. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to do. Why don't you do some of that tomorrow? My mother-in-law is coming tonight. I invited her to my house for dinner, and she likes a very neat and tidy house. I know what you mean. My mom is very clean and organized, too. I should have started a few days ago, but I was so busy at work. Why doesn't your husband help you? He did help me. He mowed the lawn, cleaned all of the bathrooms, and set up the guest room yesterday. Wow, he did a lot too. 
I also have to go grocery shopping. What a busy day. Do you need any help? No, that's okay. I'm not busy today. I can help you. Really? Could you go grocery shopping for me? I already made my shopping list. Of course. You can pay me back when I drop off the groceries. Thank you so much, Karen. No problem. That's what friends are for. Text me what you need and I will go to the supermarket right away. Okay. Hi, Karen, again. Thank you so much for helping me with the groceries. You're my lifesaver. I'm here to help you with the house chores. You can go cook dinner and I will finish cleaning up the house. Just tell me what I have to do. Okay. Can you please do the dishes, set up the table, and take out the trash? Thank you so much. I'm on it. Thanks. And please, at least stay for dinner. Sure, Sally. Situation 3. John wants to sell his house and he asks his friend Max for his advice on how to clean the house before selling. Hi, Max. It's me, John. Oh, hi, John. What's up? I have something to ask. I want to sell my house in Texas. My wife has decided to stay in New York. Uh, and you're the real estate agent, so I need your advice on how to get my house ready to sell. You ask the right man. Okay, here is the list of what you'll have to do. Write it down. Okay, tell me. First and foremost, start by researching the local housing market. Take a look at comparable sales in your neighborhood to figure out the appropriate listing price for your home. Okay, will you help me with that? This is my first time, I have no idea what to do. Sure, no problem. Okay, do I need to do anything else? First impressions mean a lot, so before listing your home, give your home a deep clean. A uh, deep clean? But how do I do it? Like sweeping and dusting? There are places and things in your home that are easiest for prospective buyers to spot. This means cleaning toilets, wiping down surfaces, mopping floors, cleaning rugs, and scrubbing bathrooms. Okay, I'll clean the fridge, dishwasher, oven, and bathtubs, sinks, toilets, inside and out. Good. Make sure that your fridge is emptied and that you've cleaned out every shelf and drawer. You already know that these are high traffic areas. You'll need to spend some serious time scrubbing here, removing every stain and bit of stray dirt. Anything else? Glass also needs to be dusted. Good mirrors help to make rooms look larger. So use a good glass cleaner and make sure to leave any glass surfaces as clear as possible. How about marks that have accumulated over the years on walls and counters? Uh, a good scrubbing should get rid of most of it. More pressing is any damage to the walls or counters, which might need to be fixed with either new paint or even putty. Okay, what should I do with the floor? Your floors are the easiest area to see in your home. Take the time to clean any carpets, and use cleaners that you might have on your hardwood floors. And the little things like light fixtures, switch plates, vents, and fan blades, and windows. This is a multitask part, so be prepared to put in a little work. Everything needs to be deep cleaned and replaced if necessary. I understand. Thank you so much for your advice. I will start preparing my house to make it look its best. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, 
Subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.